Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of June 25th through July 1st. Let's get in the reading. Hmm. Well, I see releases, releasing things, um, do things without feeling guilt. You know what needs to be changed. You know the truths, you know uh, cyclical patterns, things like that, and completion. So some of you are going through some closures or it's already just starting. Okay, there is a little bit of stress with um, finances or worry about finances. That's one thing I'm seeing right away. I do see like real uh, fast energy. It's like rush, rush energy. You may need to slow down a little bit, okay? Because you'll be in such a rush some way or another that you may forget your priorities, okay? So that is one thing, you know, forewarned is warm. Try to keep your cool also because I do see that you could be, for some you've already been, these are very similar energies from this week, uh, past this week that you went through is maybe merging into the next two. So I see that energy too continuing. Um, you know, watch that you don't blow up at like small little interruptions or people that provoke you. <laughs> slow down whoa whoa cancer okay there is some stuff that you need to slow down on you may get sudden um notions like something just pops in your head or urges to rearrange redecorate readjust things and that could be connected to your home too it's like a lot of work here home home um home and foundation lots of changes lots of changes or you just want to make them um others you know, they will find you charming. You can attract a lot of stuff uh, to you now. I do see overwhelming energy, and this could be maybe towards the end of the reading, so that could be like the weekend. There could be a lot of social demands, okay? Um, it's like you're definitely coming out of your shell, but it's just the energy that says, you know, enjoy. Enjoy a good times. Enjoy. Have some fun. Okay, so that's really important. I do see significant changes happening. It starts with the foundation, home foundation is definitely showing up there are whatever you go through now with these changes and foundation is very important to cancer um whatever happens it's definitely blessings in disguise okay that's one thing i see um be careful of um signing any agreements any contracts be very discerning about that make sure you know what you're getting into or something like that is showing up it's just a little in the yellow or that could be just you just being hesitant so it depends there's a lot of things going on around you there could be a lot of people around you watch finances spending too much maybe that's something you know maybe you are too generous with others be careful of that energy okay you're going to be reflecting on a lot of things like reminiscing the past or you're going to also be looking at things how you did it and keep reminding yourself not to make the same mistakes. Um, you're going to be reminding, I keep seeing reminding yourself what to do next, okay? Uh, you're very wise and be smart. So be smart. Um, yeah, there can be somebody or others that are interfering. I saw that in another reading, I'm not sure two, three readings, I think, interfering in your relationship, okay, or giving you, it's like you got a, some people or person that is interfering in your love life, okay, so, and this could be interferences with things, past situations, or uh, exes, too, that's another thing I can say, um, definitely don't hold yourself back, okay, um, if there's any naysayers, you know, who try to belittle you, tell you can't do anything. I'm seeing that similar energy. I could have swore I saw that last week. Those naysayers, you know, just flip them off. Huh. Flip them off. Give them the finger and move on. Gets really quite annoying. Um, I do success. I do see success is coming through. There is happy energy. Blessings are coming through. Okay. Um, there is some help coming in. So if you need help somehow there, it's like, You'll either be at the right place at the right time or someone's just going to come right in time to help you out with something. Um, that's for some of you. There is good news coming in. 
Um, you're going to be redoing some things. I do see um, you're going to be doing see, um, a lot of things differently. Okay, it's like you already have. And it's like each time you're just going to just readjust. It's like, oh, okay, so I thought I did it this way. And I thought I had my point across. But you already crossed one tiny little line or something. So let's now put on another lock. Of course, I'm just giving you an example. So you're definitely going to be doing that. Um, you're going to be experimenting with a lot of new things too. Um, you be are, you're quite unpredictable. If anyone wants, wants to trust their laurels on you, they're in for a mistake. They truly don't know you because you're really revamping some things, even the way you approach people um, and how you deal with some things. Okay, I do see a domineering person or who has been. For some reason, there is more positive light next to this person. Either that person's going to leave you alone, leave your life, uh, wish fulfillment there, or there's just more of a positive light coming through there. Um, that's the best I could see say for that so okay on the plate working working hard there's a big focus on working on things that you've been working for and you're really driven to get what you need okay don't let anyone deter you or stop you okay that's one thing i see uh new beginnings with finances okay so something could be coming through this could be a windfall maybe a gift coming in but there is a new fresh beginning so something started uh again i'm seeing you need to be a little patient with yourself but I see, again, you're going to be changing some stuff around. You're very unpredictable. It's like you're changing things, experimenting. You're, it's really creative energy, too. Okay? Um, because there is, you know, there are people around that are either jealous or you just don't trust everyone. You're very discerning. So it's like you know who you can trust, who you can't trust. So you have these trust issues. And it's like you're very careful who you let in or what you're saying. So I do set, see that. And I do see you having trust issues with some situations of people in your life there um what is coming in is death and rebirth definitely okay let your intuition guide you you're going to be changing your perspectives even some things that you've been wishing for to or wanting to manifest you're definitely going to be ending something starting something like um just this could be really creative solutions i'm um, just sparks of um great energy coming through where you're just going to start something new Pay attention to your intuition, okay? It's like between heaven and earth. You just know it. Um, trust your gut. Okay, some of you may be dealing with legalities, but I feel this is another message that's coming through later. If you do have a legal um, case, there could be some kind of delay, but something may go your way here. Something new may come through. Just say, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> something new comes through. A new experience with it, um, uh, a new uh, unexpected ending that looks very positive. For others, I just see things that just have not been fair, where people have been unjust to you, have not treated you fairly. It's going to balance out. They are getting their just desserts, whether you know it or not. So I like that. This is also a lot of official agreements Maybe you may be dealing with. This could be contracts. So, um, you know, going, for example, I went, I had to go to the DMV. My license was expiring. I could have done it online this year, but now I got married. I had to go change my name. <laughs> so that's an example. So uh, dealing with official uh, changes, documents, signing things. So you may have a few of things to do too. That's one example. Um, and yeah, again, um, if you're looking for a job, there should be something available. And this could be additional income coming through. So this is really good, but you need to balance. You need a balance. Okay, and be careful of being over generous is one thing I'm seeing as well. Okay, now what I want to say is it is cancer season, so happy birthday to all cancers. Um, especially for this week, this is a reading from June 25th to July 1st. The first deacon there's two. Um, I belong in this week to my birthday's on Wednesday, June 27th. Happy birthday, special happy birthday to you guys, and um. I'm going to do a birthday special, a solar year, a very uh, quick reading. Well, I consider them quick uh, for you guys. So that's in the next video. I'm going to be doing that next. See what comes through. And check out Instagram. I don't know. See, I'm really bad with social media. I had Instagram and then I don't post and blah, blah. I'm trying to really be active more and more. And um, also, I was doing Gemini for like for the weekend. I can only post, you know, I'm not good with social media. I didn't know one minute videos so i was posting for them every week for the weekend like for saturday and then sunday um a quick uh energies of the day reading for them so check that out it's cancer sun i'm doing it like now 
on tonight, um, fr uh, Friday night, you're going to see for Saturday and then for Sunday. So it's cancer season. So um, find me on Instagram there. And um, yeah, so that will be going on while Cancer Sun is around. And then I go to Leo. And, and I usually say whoever comments another sign, if there's enough um, of another sign, I'll add them too <laughs> for that. But anyway, so that's there. And yeah, check out your birthday video. Wish you all the best. I hope you have a fabulous week ahead. And yeah, catch you next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Until then, all the best. Bye for now.